I mean, in one of your recent podcasts, you mentioned that you had this like paranormal experience <laughs> with seeing uh, seeing Jesus. And oh yeah, Jesus the Christ. He like showed up. last name the Christ. <laughs> no, yeah, because I a lot of my work over the years was in the Jesus tradition, so it was like, what does it mean to turn the other cheek? Oh, that's actually a that's actually about nonviolence, and nonviolence works in a particular way. Um, but there were, I kept having these very like surreal guerrilla theater performance art, mm, almost mm. like a fugue state trance yes. where Jesus the Christ was like, hey, you've been telling my stories for a long time. Almost like, good job, but uh, it's getting awkward. <laughs> it's like, it's like, he's like, he's like you, but you have like, clearly you've been sitting at your desk every day, all day for a number of months now. Mm. Clearly you have stories to tell. So he's funny. So it's what a, you're saying. he's like 10 steps ahead. Funny, <laughs> super direct and straightforward and also totally in on the joke yeah. and absurd. There's yes. like a psychedelic dimension, but then there's also this like unflinching. You're fine. Mm. You're fine. Mm. You're fine. Exact. Like you even think about, um, you think about like, uh, the explosion of, of therapy in the past few years, which is great. Mm. People getting therapy and so and so's getting therapy and so and so's getting therapy. It's, it's wonderful. People are going into their histories and going into the thing behind the thing and all that. But there's also ever so subtly can be you're broken and you need fixing. Mm. And it can almost become an identity. I'm in therapy. I'm broken and I need fixing, mm. which, which can be beautiful and liberating and healing and f finding your, truer self it can also become a story and identity another clinging and grasping yes that uh if i could just get another insight then mm. um so yeah there was something about jesus the christ who was like hey do you want you want to be done it was like a serious permission giving and that's the trap if you go around the world handing out permission slips <laughs> for however many decades yeah you have to like Rob Bell yourself. <laughs> that was my next question. Um, yeah, it was very tender and vulnerable and like, hmm. yeah, I had like a real, yeah, it's called where you park your spaceship. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, like, a, like a, yeah, that's what we're going to do next. <laughs> <laughs>